I'm Ellen. And I'm Robert. And this is Science Scene. Ellen, why did you just tweet that I was stupid and fat? What? That wasn't me. It came from your personal Twitter account. Okay, I guess it was me. I'm sorry. Okay, well, if you're so... Did you just send another one? No, of course not. I'm going to murder you in your sleep. Hashtag kill Robert smiley face. Ellen, this is not okay. I'm reporting you to Twitter. Go right ahead. Twitter probably won't do anything about it. Even the CEO, Dick Costello, admits that Twitter sucks at dealing with abuse. And bullying is rampant across the internet, including Twitter, with half of adolescents stating that they've experienced cyberbullying at some point. And the bullies don't care. 41% say they don't feel anything after bullying others. About 25% think it's funny. Only 16% feel guilty. But why is it so bad on the internet? Why do people post and upvote things on Reddit that they'd never say IRL? Part of the issue is that 90% of an emotional message is nonverbal. In other words, it's harder to get the emotional cues online that make you feel guilty. Studies placing a screen between bully and victim show that it's much easier to bully someone guilt-free when there's a barrier between the two. But that doesn't mean that cyberbullying can't hurt or that it's excusable. And though there's not one clear solution, there are some things that might help. The presence of moderators improves the amount of empathy in an online community. So does the proportion of women. More women correlates with nicer people overall. It could be that women make online areas safer, or just that women leave or don't want to join the more toxic communities. At any rate, remember that there are real people out there in cyber world. So play nice. For more information, check out today's science scene, part of the Life and Arts section of your Daily Texan.